We are finally back home from our hog hunt giveaway with Jessica and her parents met her down here in Texas from Missouri and they got to see each other unexpectedly. Cut em Down Outfitters was incredible. They put us on the most hogs out of all four years that we've done this competition or giveaway, not competition. The hogs were completely nocturnal so we stuck with night vision and she was able to get a hog. Dead pig. First pig for Jess. How do you feel? Really good now that we found it. <laughs> he's definitely dead. I don't think he's going very far. We saw a lot more. We had some opportunities and things don't always play out that way. That's why it's called hunting and not killing. It's always so cool to connect with the winners because they're so grateful and so down to earth and humbled and they appreciate it. We get kind of nervous with the giveaways because you never really know what we're getting into, but every year we end up with just the best kind of people and reminds us why we do what we do. <laughs> trying. Going for my fifth right now. How many have you caught? Three. How many did you catch? Uh, five. Five? We went fishing during the day. We um, shot his 3D course that he had set up and it was just really fun. We watched a lot of the March Madness basketball because Jessica's a coach at Washington State. She's a soccer coach, but that girl knows more about sports than most men that I hang around, which is pretty freaking cool. <laughs> I think we definitely made some lifelong friends. I'm actually hoping I can make it up there and hunt with her one of these days. I wanted to say a special thank you to Reed Foster with Cut'em Down Outfitters. Your setup is wonderful from the lodging to just the setups themselves and obviously you have a ton of hogs. Braxton and I are on our way home from my parents house because we had to go get June bug and out in our field. Fresh right planted front, hay grazer. Yeah to the left of our gate is fresh planted hay grazer and there's a huge sounder of pigs in the field so we're running home to grab our gun and a spotlight and I'm going to try to record it on the uh, pulsar monocular unit so you guys can see how many there are. We didn't get to the pigs quite fast enough last night. They had already started to run off the field, but this is the device that we use to film them in the field. I didn't even know anything like this existed, and I will say it's very pricey, but it is a game changer when it comes to nighttime hunting and trying to manage the hog populations.